Hey guys, it's me. Um, so very exciting day. Um, I got my birthday gift, my early birthday package in the mail from my parents, and um, in it were some earrings. But I also got this guy, and he's super awesome because I collect rubber ducks. I think they're so cool, I don't know why, but I have like 18 now, including him, and um, I need no, like I need help naming him, um, I'm not sure how many of you are like watching this yet, um, it'd be really cool if somebody could like help me, um, I don't know, I thought about cheese, naming it cheese, I don't know, something weird, whatever. So I figured I'd bring you some words, some other words, like shirt. Shirt is kind of like a red color. I don't know. It's just red to me. Because I have, I kind of have this game with my boyfriend where he'll say a word or a letter or a number and I'll just tell him the first, you know, like what color is associated with or like I don't know it's just silly like he gave me these words the other day so I just wrote them down and this one is for my lady gaga my mother monster and yes I am a little monster I'm not afraid to admit it I love her to death I love her music I love her messages through her music and I love her fashion sense so whatever anyway this is kind of how I see it, um, kind of green and black, I guess, and it's weird because when I think of, like, the Gaga part, I have, like, this pattern, I don't know, kind of like a black and white pattern, I don't know, um, alright, another word, I'm not really sure if this is even interesting to anyone, but, uh, this is a class I should be studying for. But I'm not, because I'm doing this. Mm. Um, yeah, it's kind of blue, and it's outlined with green. So sometimes, like, my words won't be just a solid color. They'll have, like, patterns or textures or layers to them. Just kind of like, um, like another example, I when I listen to music, music will have so many layers of pattern and color. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, that's just... Um, little thing. I don't know. It's been a very pink day. Kind of pink. Pink's kind of like a a very bland day. Like some like rich, like ordinary people might think, oh today's such a blah day so it's like gray. Like it's blah. But for me it's kind of like pink. Pink's a very average day. A very uneventful sort of day. So yeah. Pretty much. I figured um, I'd add a couple words today. Um, October. Since it is October and it's one of my favorite months, I was kind of thinking about maybe I'd tell you guys colors for the word. I don't know. Um, well, first of all, the letter O is kind of, it's white, I guess. But the whole word to me in general is kind of like a golden yellow color. But it has a very serious attitude. I, I guess you can call it serious. He's kind of like the guy that lurks in the shadows, doesn't really socialize. I probably sound really silly talking about this. Um, okay, well, if I do decide to name this guy, which I love so much, I will let you guys know. Um, yeah, other than that, well, see you guys around sometime. I feel really dumb right now. <laughs> I just realized that my camera was not on mirror image. 
so, or it was on mirror image and um, the words all came out backwards, so I'm going to re-show you my words so you can actually read them because maybe this vlog would make more sense if I actually did everything right. <laughs> Alright, well. Okay. Shirt. Now you can read it. Now you can see. Yep, it's red. Shirt is red to me. <sighs> I love her. Yeah, so I basically get like this kind of like a triangular kind of geometric kind of pattern, I guess, when I see it or when I think of it. Sometimes when I see it, a lot of this is like. This is both, I guess. When I think of it and I see it in my head, I see the color. And this is the class that I've been putting off. Sorry. This is the class I've been putting off for forever because it's plants. It's a study of plants. Yeah. Anyway, sorry that this was backwards before. I feel stupid. Alright, well, you guys are great, so keep watching.